Bang! Needs knives. I'm Jared, my lovely wife Kara's busy, and today we are doing the good and bad review on the Olamic Whippersnapper. This knife was sent to me by Floydian, which sent me a whole bunch of amazing knives, and I really appreciate him supporting our channel the way he does. Uh, thank you very much, bud. Let's get in to this amazing knife. So this knife's total length is six and seven eighths with a two and three quarter inch blade. So just under three inches and the overall length is barely under seven inches. Let's do some really quick size comparisons. Here it is against its little cousin, the Olamic Busker. You can see it is a lot bigger than the Busker. Here it is next to the Hinderer XM18 3-inch. They are very similar in length. Actually, pretty much right on the money. Let's do a couple size comparisons that people know. Or at least uh, a lot of people do know. The Benchmade Bug Out. Here is the Sabivi McKenna. Which, it's basically the exact same size as the Sabivi McKenna. Then two more very quickly. Here's the Civivi Elementum, which is a very good size comparison as well. And then here is the QSP Penguin, which a lot of people are knowing lately. It's very popular, but the Penguin's just a little bit bigger. And the Civivi Elementum is about perfect. Possibly a tiny, tiny bit longer. So, let's get into it. So this knife is M390 titanium frame lock with a titanium clip and backspacer. The backspacer is a floating backspacer. And the blade is basically, I would call it a sheep's foot blade. Um, very cool blade, which, with ha which also has great blade geometry. You can see the taper here so behind the edge thickness is between 15 and 17 thousandths behind the edge great great fantastic little slicer i did use it i did hone it i didn't sharpen it so it still has the factory edge on it the edge did come back very nicely as much as it could um i feel like it could end up using a sharpening here pretty soon but it's okay right now um you know not the best but you know it's still there's no uh there's no spots on it or anything like that it's just not the sharpest but it did home back very nicely and passing through materials the blade just works so good um and it works good in a couple different ways one the tip is really nice because it does have a nice acute tip that you can really get pressure down so when you're um using it it actually um puts basically all the pressure and all the weight right there on the tip which works really good kind of like a razor blade it works really good for utility cuts but then when i was also cutting it's the the blade is kind of facing towards the objects that you cut so it works really good for slicing um and the geometry just works really good too you do have this finger choil here that also works as a sharpening choil. So sharpening it will be amazing. It'll be a great knife to sharpen. Um, the the um, the grind looks nice and even. Everything looks pretty good. You know, as far as I could tell without sharpening it. But it looks really good. Um, the, the grip on it, man, this thing feels really good in the hand. It's uh, You get up nice and close to the blade. And um, it, and you have like this spot right here where your middle finger lands. So you can basically hold it down here or up there. Both of them are very comfortable and works. I mostly hold it like this. And when I was doing most of my cutting, most of my cutting was done like this. And then like this. And then I did do some cuts like this and like this. I tried to make sure I did all the different cuts. The only cut I really didn't do was a reverse cut, but I could feel it right now that this would work just fine. Um, it, you know, it's got that thickness right here that, that uh, just works. It's nice and thin, but not overly thin to where it affects the, 
the ergos because some knives when they start getting too thin they're just it's just too thin for a hand to really squeeze this still is nice and thin but has a good thickness for a good grip and then you know coupled with this thickness right here it does have a little taper where you know you see the you can see the taper it's a little thicker right here than right here but it feels still nice and good in the hand so you can see that it's got like a titanium ball underneath. Now these lot, these type of clips work okay as long as there's enough spring and the ball is slick enough. So this one works just fine. It has plenty of spring. And yeah, so you can see it has a titanium lock bar or titanium. In, uh, you can see it has a stainless steel lock bar insert so that it's steel on steel instead of titanium on steel and then also an over travel stop so you don't unspring the lock the, the stop pin is oh come on you can see the one the closing stop pin and then the open stop pin right there they're both right next to each other, so that one's the open one, and then the other one is the closing one. The two pins are right there. Now, let's get into this action. So, this does have an awesome reverse flick. So, the, the detent is nice and crisp. Nice and clicky. Very easy to reverse flick. And you can also thumb flick it. It's not as easy as the reverse flick, but you can easily do it, obviously. But the reverse flick's amazing. Now, the top flip, it, you can see it has like a mohawk type shape. Now, instead of doing like, which you can also do it like this, where you just go straight across, you can do it like that just fine. You know, same thing like with the Civivi McKenna, you just snap it straight across. But I feel like a more satisfying way is to go up top and grab it right here on this portion right there and go downward. It just works so good and it feels so satisfying to flip it down. It feels really good and the detent's nice and crispy. You don't uh, have no issues doing it. It feels like the detent was just made for... I mean, obviously it was, but what I mean is that it doesn't feel overly strong or overly weak. It feels well-tuned for the type of action it has. The detent ball, when you unlock it, is very early, and you can easily push past it. It does have a reverse detent ramp. You can see it right there, that little notch. So it does have it, so you can easily push past it if it's... You know, if you hit the ball, which you don't really ever hit the detent ball because it's so early. So you can easily just unlock it. And then this little part right here tends to, it can, I guess, hit your finger a little bit if you're up really high. So when I unlock it, it's hitting my finger right now. And then it's hitting the ball. But usually I'm a little lower and it just swings kind of past it. But you got to be careful not to hit the lock bar right here with your finger so you want to hold it a little bit down let it drop and it's just fine so and then the drop on it it's not false shutty but it's pretty doggone smooth you can easily just do one little slap like that and it'll shut or you can give it a little shake and it gets down there in about three shakes um the centering is nice and perfect i mean just perfect and yeah like i said the detent is well tuned now the front flipper is a little different on this one than the busker the busker i find you know it works good but in this exact one right here it feels just a little bit more challenging than this one now i'm not saying the busker doesn't front flip okay it front flips just fine but you want to kind of grab it low and put pressure and then go instead of just hitting the top of it. When I was first you know, messing with this knife, I kept trying to do it from the top right here. And it works, but just not as good. You tend to slip off a little bit. But when you hold it low and then try it, it works just fine. This one works better, in my opinion. This front flipper is way better and way easier. And just, it feels so natural on this knife. Now, what are some bad things? There are so many good things about this knife. I just want to say I really do like this knife. Also, I forgot to say the jimping. There is jimping on the back of the spine. And that's the same jimping that you see up here. Couples as the jimping on the spine. Um, but some bad things. Because the jimping is nice. I'm not complaining about the jimping. <laughs> so, what are some bad things? So, um, 
Before I go over the bad things, I just want to say that these knives are knives that you get from Olamic Knives, and they are, um, they're not cheap, okay, they're not cheap, but you can make them your own, you, you know, you can basically set them up the way you want with the same, with the right, or the finishes you want and stuff like that and then they also release like on blade hq and stuff like that a whole bunch of ones that they already did pre-dead that are different so you can have five of these and none of them will look the same or the same thing with the buskers you can have five of them and they'll all have a different inlay or a different color you know combo so that's very awesome um i did run into a couple negatives not the biggest deal one of them is uh kind of a big deal but so one thing is that it has little tiny hardware. I do not like the little hardware. These are T6s. I think they're T6s. Yeah, they're they're T6s all around. Even though the pivot's a T8, which I do like to see. I don't like to see so many T6s. You know, um, it's you know, it is what it is. Um, I forgot to say this thing is running on bearings. Oh, man, I keep forgetting stuff. But yes, it is running on bearings. The next bad thing is it does have a smidgen of lock rock just a smidgen so it, you know if i just grab it and go like this i don't really feel too much maybe just a little bit you can kind of hear it but if i really muscle it you know not really muscle it, but if i put a little more effort i can feel the lock slipping just a little tiny bit but when i turn around and i look at the lock face geometry the lock face geometry looks pretty good um you can see that if it'll stop reflecting, you can see um, a less tapered area going to a high taper area, which is the way I like to see lock face geometry. But, you know, it, for whatever reason, you're getting a little bit of rock. It's not that bad. I don't think it really matters because it's not like it's, it doesn't have any play. Just a little bit of rock, which it's not that bad. It never failed on me or anything like that, even you know trying to check for a play it didn't fail or anything like that you know it's just a little bit um but other than that there's really i mean it's a fantastic knife um i mean just a great little edc knife i love how everything is just chamfered really nicely even up here this is chamfered on the edges not crowned but you know it does have a chamfered on the edge you can see the swedge, how it tapers all the way down to a fine tip. The grips you can get in this little thing allow you to do fine detail work and, you know, use it in so many ways. So for a little knife, this thing is so, so useful. It's such a super useful little knife, and I like it a lot. I really do. This is an awesome little knife. Um, one other little thing, you know, I wouldn't say this is necessarily a bad thing. It's just something, you know, you just got to learn to get past and i already did mention it when you go to unlock the lock bar you know um depending on how you do it i've pretty much gotten past it but sometimes um i'll go to unlock it and my finger will be right there and it won't go because i'm holding it back now, you get past that that's not a big deal at all you just wind up lifting your finger up or you wind up just using your finger to push it forward anyway so that's i don't consider that a bad at all it's just something where you have to you know learn how to manipulate your hand just a little bit and it's it's really second nature once you realize it um but yeah man just so many great things about this knife this knife is an awesome little edc and if you like if you're the kind of person that really likes late um light duty i'm not gonna say light duty you know the small to medium size knives or should i say the smaller size knives this would be an absolute winner because this thing acts i know it doesn't have like even though you can see it kind of has like the blade to handle ratio thing going on but really in all reality the blade to handle ratio is really not the best it ha does have a lot bigger handle than it does blade but it works man because you can get such a full grip and then you have a nice little blade that just works for so many tasks. It really is awesome. And I do really like it a lot. And I love that Olamic allows you to make it your own. You know, and put your own finish work on there or whatever. I know that brings the cost up. So it's not like all of them cost the same. And they're not cheap. So, but either way, it's an amazing knife. I like Olamic. These were my first time. My This was my first time getting to check out Olamic. And yeah, pretty awesome. I love you guys. Thanks, Floydian. Peace.